It is just fundamentally unfair to tell people they have a choice in one breath and in the next say, you're going to have to do it anyway, even if that's not your choice. And certainly our members are concerned yeah. about their future about their ongoing job security, are also concerned that if they have to move to a private provider, that means a 20% drop in their wage, but also less training, reduced qualifications and less standards of care. What, what this government is doing is basically uh, tearing apart families because the staff are not just staff, they are families. We are not being given a choice. There is no choice here. Uh, we don't mind that uh, private people can bid to look after the home, but the status quo has got to be one of the choices. And uh, as I say, my daughter has suffered a lot in her life, and this will make her suffer more. Um, you know, we, we don't want to have to go through the stresses involved with, with I suppose, introducing new people into Clinton's life because, like a lot of uh, people in the same situation, he doesn't deal well with change. So the outcome for us, I think, is an absolute minimum is that Clint stays where he is, he stays with the same group, and we'd like as much as possible for the same carers to stay there and look after him. So for us, there's the stability of all those arrangements, and I suppose it's the unknown for us, not knowing that, you know, maybe he, his physical location won't change, but you know, who, are, who are the people going to be that are going to look after him? And... It just staggers me to think that the government think that they can bring new people in to look after these folk who are diminished in their abilities. What's he going to do when it's new people and with only a couple of weeks training? This, this issue is about everybody being able to choose where their loved one fits in, where their loved one is comfortable, and you should remain, and that choice should remain with you. This has nothing to do with the NDIS. There's nothing in the NDIS agreement that says accommodation services have to be outsourced. So please, if it's not broke, don't fix it, because it can't be fixed with a new team.